<laughs> For the main event, guys, you remember the beginning of the channel? Oh, man. Look at this beautiful lake right here. I wonder... Cracking, man. We're about to unbox this Whoa. snake bagging contraption Whoa. that one of our fans made for us and feed some snakes. So this Hell is good. yeah. We got a whole bucket of things right here. Some shrimp too, so we can feed all the crocodiles and some of the game. You hear that? We got some shrimp. We got Brandon with us. It's gonna be fun, guys. Finally doing some snake stuff. Because everybody's been complaining about all my goddamn chickens. So I figured. No more birds in this episode. You're not gonna see a single freaking bird no, unless you look chickens. up here, so don't look. No birds this episode, just snakes, all right? It's gonna be fun. Let's get it. Shush. Besides the birds that are in this bucket for the main fans, okay? So we were in here last night feeding everything. We fed a lot of stuff last night. We were gonna film yesterday, but figured, you know, we'll save the cool stuff for today. So I got a snake in here for Rusty. We need to take him out, see how he's looking. We got two big jumbo rats for the big rattlesnakes. We got a large rat for a shatid over there. It's gonna be cool, right? And, oh yeah, wanna, yeah. wanna open up this thing first? Let's do it. So what this is, is a snake bagging contraption. So yeah, he built this snake bagging contraption. This actually goes <laughs> over a trash can, but he's a subscriber of me, Tyler, Chandler, everyone, and he specifically made this for Tyler to keep him safe. Whoa. Now that he has a little girl. So, All right. I, I don't know what's in here, a lot of stuff, but okay. he said he has some flash drives for us to watch to be able to figure out how to use this. So it's gonna take some time for us to Whoa, put dude, this Whoa, dude, there's all together, these crazy contraptions. There's some goodies in there too. What the heck? Gotta build it? And Whoa. we got shirts. We got shirts. Oh, man. dang. Let's go. Hell yeah, let's go. Dude, oh, this thing day. looks kind of crazy. Right? What the heck? We're gonna have to figure this thing out. All right, so this thing is actually really cool. Stone just showed me a picture on his email. So this little contraption sits on top of the trash can, all right? These, these posts right here, we have to take them off and move them upwards. These little guys go up top to gently hold the snake bag into place. You see that? It's just like a nice little rubber grommet. So that way it's not super, super tight, but just enough to hold the bag. Okay, set the bag up in this opening that's on your trash can. This little lasso right here goes around the inside of the bag. Put the snake in the bag on the trash can, and then boom, when you pull it like this, whoop, pull it closed, and it'll close the snake bag with this awesome little freaking snake. It's got a little nipple ring on it too. It's kind of creepy. Genius. Just like my little now. Hopefully this has never been in a boopy before. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Brian, was this in your nipple, dude? No, I'm just kidding. So. Guys, comment down below who wants us to make a video just about this by itself Let me and show you this really cool contraption that this freaking, this dude Brian freaking made. This thing looks so cool. We have to watch the file. Yeah, so out. there's a file. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I, I, we put our brains together and I'm pretty sure we know what we're doing with it, but we're gonna watch the video later on my computer figure out how to really use it. And we're gonna make a video just for you guys to see this freaking awesome thing. I'm stoked. All right, so let's pull out some snakes. Start feeding some things. I'm excited about that. That's so cool. And not only are we gonna feed some snakes, but I finally got two of my favorite freaking species that I had when I first started this channel that everybody loved and then something happened to it a while ago and it died. 
but I got two more finally for the new snake room for my buddy Jordan. We're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna do some of this stuff first and then I'm gonna show you my new snakes because they're freaking so awesome and I can't wait, they're so cool. All right, so let's get her done. Just gotta figure out what freaking lock it is. There we go. Thank you, sir. All right, a little on the bitey side when he's inside of his freaking enclosure and he's about to eat. He smells the food and gets all freaking crazy. So we gotta just reach in there nicely, let him know that it's us. How are you, sir? Now, for those of you that don't know, this is Batman, my you know, bat wing rattlesnake, which is a kingbreak rattlesnake and an eastern diamondback rattlesnake bred together. And he is a big old huge boy. Look at this guy. Gigantic freaking snake, captive bred and captive raised. So he's on the chiller side. He's still, like you guys can look back in a couple of videos that he was uh, starring in just recently. And uh, once he smells these freaking rats in the room, he gets all nimbly bimbly and he's been striking at me and having a really crazy feeding response inside of his cage. But he's behaving decent right now. We're gonna get him in his little feeding receptacle. As you can see, his weight is looking primo. He was super, super overweight when I first got him and he's an eight year old snake. So we put him on a diet and we've only been feeding him like once a month instead of like a couple a couple times a month. And now his weight is down to a nice healthy size and I don't really have to worry about all that fatty heart disease and all that other crap that can kill your snakes really early because if kept correctly, you know, that snake can live for upwards to 25 years, which is, I would love to have my snakes for as long as they can because I love them. All right, let's feed his girlfriend. My top if I use the right end of these things. That is a jumbo, yep, that is a jumbo. I brought some fuzzies and stuff too for all the little spitters and everything. The spitters we fed yesterday and we gave them the tails of the rats, but yeah. Wow, that was a pretty good, was a pretty good strike right there. There Ooh. we go. Sick. Let's see that in slow mo. So let her eat that. It's getting hot. Here. <laughs> oh yeah. It's a little toasty up in this. All these guys we fed yesterday, Puff Adder slammed a couple of things, everything over here, spitters are doing great, the rhino's doing great, everything. These little Chinese Atras, fire, they all ate yesterday. So let's, um, I'm gonna grab the camera. We're gonna have Stoney take out Shati, or you wanna Ooh. take out Shati? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Stoney take out Shati. Why not? See how she's looking. All right, Miss Shati. See, see how she's, she's doing. Oh, yeah. Cakes and soda. Sorry. Yeah. Hide out of the way. Let's see how that, how her little injury is looking. Ooh, okay. Looking a little bit better. Nice, dude. Dude, Definitely. I think one more shed and she might, you might not oh, yeah. even be able to tell, guys. That'll be gone one day. Oh, yeah. Big girl. Look at that, dude. And I don't know if I told you, but last time we were filming, we noticed these white scales. On the back of her tail, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I've never, I definitely never noticed any white scales. See them right there? Oh, wow, yeah, Crazy. look at that. And they're definitely not a scar, they're just two white scales. That is very <laughs> cool. Wow, all right, so let's see how her head is looking. Dude, not looking bad, guys, look at that. A lot, a lot better, man. And for those of you that don't remember, so what had happened was, is we had a bunch of bulls that came in from Vision, which I'm sponsored by Vision. I love their cages. They are freaking primo, primo, primo. But for some reason, one of these bulls just had like a really sharp edge on it that she was going underneath and she just cut the crap out of herself. So took care of it, took the bull out, smoothened it up, told Vision about it, reached out to Mark and everybody. Um, they were very understanding about it and you know obviously gave their condolences and sorry for the snake and all that and they made double double sure that they are making sure that we no longer have these issues with any more water bowls. So thank you Vision. You guys are great. So let's get back to stone handling Shatid. Beautiful. She's not bad you know a lot of cases will come flying back open mouth. She, she'll come back turning on you, but it's just to basically find the highest point and climb to it. 
Yeah, dude, she's a pretty freaking snake, man. Dude, she's getting big, bro. Yeah. If you handle her, hold, hold her sideways real quick. <laughs> you better be ready to do the spin. Yeah, I saw you doing the spin while I was uh, talking about these water bowls, man. But yeah, these cages, though, look freaking awesome. Yeah, Shout out to huge. Vision. Look how long she is. Yeah, dude, look at that. Oh, she is getting gigantic. Massive. Dude, she's easily pushing 10 foot already. Oh, yeah. Such a beautiful thing. Dang. Hell yeah. All right, so let's throw her a, uh, a water. <laughs> Woo! When we had her out, she probably smelled food too, so oh, yeah, for sure. There you go. Just leave it right on there. There she goes. Smelly smell. Go! Oh, relax, dude. Not a good day to be a snake hide. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, it's right in front of her, and she's still yeah. trying to like not the most accurate thing in the An update on the new snake room. So we just finished doing the main portion of the painting. I still got to go get a couple more gowns from Home Depot. Finished doing my office. I ordered the floor. That just got delivered the other day, so we have to install the floor. So I'm hoping today's the 22nd. I'm hoping in the next two weeks we should be able to start moving some snakes and setting up everything. And I'm going to make it super dope. Like all these vision cages, I'm going to kind of plan out where I want everything. And then you can actually go on Vision's website and see for yourself these like showcase like shelves that they make. They're like beautiful wooden shelves that you put the cages into and it just looks freaking awesome. You can order them from Vision, but I am going to make my own little version just because I want to make it like match my room perfectly. So I'm going to use my, the same wood that I use for the rest of the room, like my crown, the molding and the bottom and just make it look all matchy matchy. Super dope. Like that burnt wood stuff, you know, I'm sure if you guys, whoever saw the shop videos and all that stuff, I have the burnt wood in the shop. The last couple shops I did, same thing. A bunch of burnt wood and make it super rustic and cool. It's going to look primo. Oh my God, he looks so dark. Because he's deep in shed. God dang it, man. Oh. I should have got a better look at him yesterday, last night when we were in here. Look at this. Look at this. It looks like a freaking Indo King Cobra right now. He's That's so, crazy. He's so dark. Look, dude, he's like freaking black right now. And he just shed not too long ago. Oh, what the hell? He's so awesome, though. Well, even though he's in shed, Let's see if he wants to eat. I don't know, no guarantee. I would hate to waste the python. Maybe we can just refreeze it. I don't know how that freaking works out. I hate refreezing stuff. It's just like, especially these pythons, it makes them all freaking mushy when you refreeze. Yeah. So let me see, but you never know, man. I mean, he's definitely eaten in shed. You guys have witnessed it several times. He's definitely been deep in shed before and he'll still go after a freaking python. So let's see he's back in his cage in his own territory so let's give this guy a little teasy tease normally when he eats in the shed he's already out of the blue oh, oh he bit it oh yeah dude i mean it's not a bite and hold let's just leave it in here and see you know mm-hmm i think oh yeah he might eat it yeah, he if he was shying away, I'd say no, but he definitely took a couple. Yeah, he definitely took a couple strikes out of it. Alright, so let's uh, we'll close Rusty up and leave him alone. Cross your fingers, guys. Hopefully he eats this thing. Mangs, we gave a couple small rats to last night. But Stone said he came in this morning. See how fast that freaking trick is? So fast. Stone came in here this morning to check on it, and they didn't eat him. So obviously, you guys know the drill when that happens. They don't eat a rat. Throw him a freaking chick. Don't. Candy every time. So I'm gonna throw him another one. Just gonna put another one in there for later. His chicks are just a kind of on the smaller side, so I always want to give him a couple. He'll eat one, smell out the other, and smash that afterwards. Still got a couple more in here for the other guy. Let's see. I promise, guys, these are the only birds you're gonna see in the video. These ones right here. No more birds. Okay. The next video you might see some birds see that grab and hold on dude that's what you want to see right there i love that all the tree vipers for the most part they're used to eating birds in the wild obviously a bird will just fly off you can't just like strike it and let it do its thing you gotta hold on to that son of a bitch could have sworn i brought four of them 
So this one, slowly open that nice and carefully, not to disturb her. The other one right there, once she's done, he's already started to eat that. <sighs> what do we gotta do next? Let's feed some little guys. Let's do it. These guys, told you yesterday, ate little rat tails yesterday. So we're deciding to give them some fuzzies today because they're little powerhouses and just eat like freaking crazy. All they do is eat and grow and poop right over here. Let's get this little guy out, little spitty spitty. Oh God, he spit at me. Oh, right in my face. Did you see that? It's a good thing I have protective goggles on. <laughs> Anyways, let's see here. Come on, where are you? Oh no, that's a monocle cover. It's a monocle? <laughs> yeah. Nope. Is it, is it her? <laughs> yeah, she ate earlier today. The she other one is up here, though. Right. The last one. All right, back there. Where you at? Little freaking, little spitter. Little monster. Come on. Come on out, man. Come on, we got food for you today. Come on out, you little jerk. Here we go. Oh, 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 please don't spit. Please don't. Ah, ah. Oh, you're spitting. We'll do it. That's how you do it, right there. <laughs> All right, you're good. Perfect. As long as your eyes are closed, you know? That one's beautiful. The key to working with venomous spitting cobras is have your eyes closed the whole time. <laughs> Rely completely on your senses. Yes. <laughs> That's, you gotta be one with the snake. For the main event, guys, you remember the beginning of the channel? We had little Waggler Viper. Oh. We had a Waggler's Viper when Alex first started working at the house, all right? And we had a little incident at the house with Alex and Eyelash Viper passed away one day. But now look, we got these beautiful new little babies. This one's a really nice green one, super green on this one. That lime green and the yellow on it. So freaking badass, dude. I love these snakes so much. Now these are both females, the males. The females get a lot larger than the males. Uh, the males stay really small and kind of on the green side. Um, they've even been known to eat their males when you try to breed them, just like squams and all that other various vipers. They sometimes they eat each other, man. Just look how beautiful this little guy is. So this is the green one that I got. Really, really pretty. We're still getting them just acclimated to everything. Once um, I get the new snake room in order, we are going to build some really, really cool bioactive vivariums for them. I just want to get him off of here real quick. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to do nice live planted vivariums with some running water, some some little waterfalls in the cages. Just make them super, super dope. That's really what I want the snake room, the new, this new snake room to be like. All the cages are just going to be primo and just look like museum quality. That way, when you guys come down here for tours, just is super legit. Everything will be nice and clean. Look at this guy though. This is this is probably my favorite one. I really like the greens, but dude, this black and yellow combo, this On is what fire. really does it for me. This is just like cream of the crop right here, man. And these are these are smaller females too. They're still gonna get a good size bigger. My female that died a while ago, I actually have a really nice picture that Will Nace took hanging up in my shop. And uh, it was probably like three times this size. They're really, really, really cool snakes. And they get they get a decent size. These guys are on the small side. But yeah, just look how beautiful this freaking little viper is. And as you can tell, they're not really super bitey. The snake hasn't really struck at me much. Isn't like showing a whole lot of signs of aggression. He's just kind of doing his thing, being a little viper. I'm trying to get a little strike. Maybe I can get his attention. No, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. And also, not a lethal bite, like the venom on these guys, which is another really cool thing, kind of like the Insularis. Insularis isn't really much of a deadly snake either. The venom on these guys, still hematoxic venom, and it'll cause a lot of necropsy in the, in the area that you're bitten. You might get some like blackness on your finger or wherever the bite is at. You might lose a little bit of flesh, but it won't kill you. Unless you have an allergic reaction, you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't get to a hospital, you don't even really have to go to a hospital. I've had a few friends get bit by these guys and not go to the hospital. I'll literally just take some Tylenol and chill out on the couch for a little bit and they've been totally fine. Not saying if you get bit by one of these snakes at home not to do anything about it. Definitely seek medical professionals, but not too lethal of a venom, which is why I can just try to hold him and not be so 
not be so super careful with them. Even though, obviously, not a really bitey snake. He's not even turning around and looking at my fingers or anything. They have heat-seeking pits on the sides of their face. You see that? So obviously they're just they're looking for heat signatures and they just want to strike at whatever the warmest thing by them is. Really, really, really cool snakes. Can't wait to get these guys set up at the room. Stay tuned, y'all. Less than a couple weeks. We're gonna start moving everything. Sorry, Stone, I'm taking my snakes back, bro. <laughs> it's all right, brother. Thanks for taking great care of them. Everybody, make sure you go follow Stone's page. I'll put the link down below. Go well, thank him for letting me keep my animals here. I gotta get you a little present too there, my dude. No I, I owe you one for I sure. had a great time. Yeah, man. Enjoy him for so the those are the new little snakes, but uh, Stone said he's gotta feed some crocodiles, so let's head on outside to see his little crocs. Let's do it. But before we go out there, guys, look at this real fast, just so I can answer some questions down there. He is eating for sure. Look at that. You can see his opaque eyes right there. Still eating, bro. That is an awesome king cobra. Gotta love that, man. Big old snakes and shit that still eat. Dude, look at what we are freaking <laughs> <We're dying>. sweaty. <laughs> yeah, let's get out there. It's nice let's outside. It. it was raining earlier. It's, it's getting a little on the chill side. It's beautiful outside. Look at this beautiful backyard. I freaking, I love this place. Amazing. Dude, stone. Your house is so freaking nice, bro. It's gonna be absolutely insane. You saw your what? There, new property? You got a new property I got five too? Acres right down the road. For so. what? What are you doing on For there? Crocs, gators, oh, everything. Shit. Cats, everything. Dang, dude. Maybe a komodo dragon. Dude, oh. yo, y'all gotta make sure you go follow Stone because he's got crazy shit going on too, man. If y'all like watching my channel, you'll love his as well. All in the same. But yeah, just look at this. Like, his backyard is freaking beautiful. None of this shit was here when he first moved in. He's building a new little storage room right there. That even looks different than yesterday. His deck is crazy. The house is beautiful. So tight. And then look at this. This is the little crocodile area right here. Look at this setup, and Even dude. this, we're going to be expanding. This is just for baby stuff under so four people. So sick. Yeah, so the other property down the street, five acres, that's where you're keeping all the big stuff, right? Yes, sir. So cool. All right, let's uh, let's feed some things, man. What we got going on over here? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right, let's go. All right. Eat off. We got a couple fuzzies and stuff in there. Fuzzies. These are great prey items for crocodiles because they're high in protein. So this is Sawbeck, my little Nile crocodile. Let's see if he wants to feed. Food, food. Good boy. His little face is so cute. So we always give him that food command every single time we feed them. That way he knows it's feeding time. Food. Food, food. <laughs> Good job. Scarfs it down. On to the next. Dude, I love little crocs. They're so cute. Oh yeah, Niles are my favorite. I mean, they're yeah, they're sick. species of crocodile and they just get huge, so who wouldn't love them? So cool. This right here is my, probably the craziest one I got. This is my other juvenile now crocodile. It's probably about three feet long, but he's an absolute menace. Dude, yeah, he's crazy. Hey, you looking. want a chicken head? Food, food. Yeah. Crazy guy. Yeah, he's awesome. And this crocodile, he's never stopped eating. I have to stop him from eating because he'll literally just eat and eat and eat. Probably until he throws up. <laughs> food, 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 food. Dude, he's a little so badass. <laughs> <laughs> crocodile. Kyle Croc on the loose. Oh, yeah. Whoa, he's coming after Brandon. He's going after Brandon. Watch out. Watch your feet. might have to jump over him. Dude. Yeah, dude, now Crocs will freaking chase your ass, dude. Oh, yeah, this guy, this is probably worse than a King Cobra. You don't want to <laughs> he's on the floor. <laughs> he's scared. He's gnarly. And this is why it's so important to have that secondary containment. Because you yeah. never know when your Crocs are just going to get up. hungry. Jump right out. <laughs> You're working with Crocs, you better be fast. Dude. All right, that's enough. We got some shrimp. We're going to feed them later. So just a couple of rats. Then these guys, they'll be nice and satisfied. Oh, yeah. So these we'll, little guys. we'll skip my bigger smooth fronted caiman because she just ate, but these gators. Oh, they're so cute. So definitely. I love these little guys. One for you. Look at these little guys. Look how cute you are. Hey. Right. Little tiny swamp pups. Look like little lizards, man. Now it's funny, both of these gators were the same size when I got them, but this one right here is noticeably different. So whenever you keep crocs or gators, one oh, yeah, he is, a bully he is definitely he's definitely a little bit bigger. See that? Oh yeah, you could definitely tell when they're side by side like that. Ripped them all in half. 
Didn't you have a smooth front here too? Yeah, I also do have a smooth fronted Cayman up in here, little baby. Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, but he's a shy eater. So with the smooth fronts, you'll just leave food on the brick and he'll come and eat it at night. He's so cool too. I love those guys. Let's see. All right, well, that's it, y'all. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Stone, gotcha. killed it. Brandon, killed it. You guys know the drill. Tire and all tattoos.com. For all your merch, go get a new shirt. Raffle's done. Finally, you guys got a snake video. No more chickens. No, not a single freaking, oh, besides the ones that we were feeding the mansion, there's not a single chicken on this video, all right? So I hope you guys appreciated it. Giving the people what they want. Give me a couple more weeks. All the snakes will be at the house again. And we will be back to our regular program, all right? I promise. I'm working on it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of money. It takes a lot of time that I don't have because I'm busy as hell. So, dude, all my free time is getting towards moving forward, all right? And that's what we're doing, y'all. We're moving forward. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. We're going to go hang out and do that little thing that we do, all right? So love you guys. Later. Peace.